Yes, Colette. Yeah, I'm fine. For the hundredth time. Yeah, I'm back at Mum's. I just needed some air. I need to get away. Yeah, your sorry excuse for a dad and that stupid hoe of his were pissing me right off. I'm not. I'm not starting anything. I'm just saying that... Oh, that's not allowed now. This is my mother's funeral. Your grandmother's. And tutor for me manages to make it all about him. I mean, the nerve to even bring it in the first place. And can someone please tell me what that whatless skinny ass bitch was doing in that skirt? Well, well, if you can call it a skirt, more like a flipping belt. At a funeral, flinging herself from one end of the church to the next. I mean, what the fuck? All right, you know what? I ain't doing this. Colette, listen, yeah? I do not have the strength for another fight, not today. We can yell at each other tomorrow, will that suit ya? Not today, Colette. You know what? Um, give them a shuffle first. Uh, oh, and turn the pieces down. <laughs> Charas, Jid. Fierce the pieces, don't again. Mr. Fierce the Pieces Donor Child, you're deaf? <laughs> Sorry, Mum, I can't hear ya. Me must be deaf. <laughs> Any other house, well, a West Indian house, and this would be a man's game. But not here. Not in this house. Not with my mother. <laughs> Ain't it, Mum? So, move the pieces round, being careful not to flip any over. Oh, Mum used to whack me hard with a ruler across my hands whenever I did that. Um, you then divvy up, get ready to play. Each player has the same amount of pieces. You stand them up, don't let anybody see. <laughs> the first time I played, I let my brother Trevor see. Oh, mum whacked me again across my hands. <laughs> now, you can't lay a domino on the board unless you have a number that matches. Now, if you haven't got one that can match the ones on the layout, you can just draw from your face down pile. You win if you're the first person to run out of dominoes. Simple. Yeah? <sighs> like anything was simple with a I didn't even like the game, it was my dad's game. At least it was until he showed Mum how to play and then she ended up being a better player than him. And, ah, oh, the way she used to slam them down whenever she had a win against Dad than me. Damn it no! <laughs> Nothing gave her greater pleasure. But that can't be right, can it? A mother should always want her kids to do better than them. Always. 
So after teaching me how to play, after drilling the rules into my brain, after whacking me with that ruler of hers, why the fuck? Why did she have to pull her face like that when I beat her at Domino's one time? When I had the pride, as well as the privilege, of slamming my piece down hard on the table. Domino's! Too much for her, I wonder. But how can your own child's joy be too much? Yeah, that's what I wanted to say in the church. Never mind say, I wanted to shout. Let it all out. I don't bloody care. We all keep things to ourselves too much in this family. All will come out the room, big people talking. All of that, it has to stop. <sighs> Shut your mouth, Jade. Have a word of yourself, why don't you? Who are you trying to kid here? Only yourself, girl. I can't even chat to my own you without looking like I want to fight her. I swear, Colette was put on this earth to drive me mad. Like I was put on this planet to drive you mad. Is that how it was for you, Mum? Did you want to punch me down? Because I wanted to punch you down. I lost count how many times I wanted to punch you down. I lost count. Make no mistake, make no mistake. I'm sorry. You wanna hear me say it louder, Mum? I'm sorry! <sighs> yeah, I know you can hear me. Smiling down and shit, yeah. I know you can hear. I can feel you. Nobody lie. That's for you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Hi, Colette. Are you okay? What? No, no, I, I'm the one who's sorry. Thanks, darling. Thanks for saying that. Yes, I called you darling. Yeah, try not to faint. You've got no idea. No. It's never too late for that. Why don't you leave Carla with Ryan and come and hang with me? We could chat, we could play. Dominoes, you idiot. Well, I'll teach you then. What are you saying? All right. Yeah, I'll see you in 10. Bring a bottle, yeah? White, please. I know she'll bring red.
I know. I'm proud of you as well. Love you, Mum. Mm-hmm.